So to make it really personal and to be really honest, I think he had a real hard time. He never expressed to me um, how he felt. Um, however, he, you know, he did tell my mom that he thinks he might be in trouble. Dementia is one of the greatest challenges facing the healthcare system in the UK. We have an ageing population. One of the main uh, risk factors of dementia is age. One in four hospital beds are taken up by someone with dementia. The UK DRI was set up to tackle dementia as this great scientific challenge. All these dementia researchers tackling the problem from multiple angles. I'm Dane. I'm looking at the earliest changes that happen in Parkinson's disease to try and understand how we can combat the disease at the earliest stages. Well, I'm Shlomi Har. I'm a motor neuroscientist. We're developing objective digital biomarkers for the disease progression that can serve as a benchmark for any future therapy for people living in dementia today and in the future. I study the immune system of the brain. I study how the immune cells help to protect the brain as well as help to maintain the proper function of the brain. My name is Katie. My main project is to develop non-pharmacological and non-invasive treatments for Alzheimer's disease. Data is critical to what we do. We are a data-led institute. My job is to try and bring it together and make it interpretable and accessible to all of the researchers across the UK DRI. Whether you're in Edinburgh or Cardiff, you should be able to access Cardiff or Edinburgh's data. Going back to why we do what we do, which is not only to understand the brain, but fundamentally discover a cure. We really need this close collaboration at early stages before publication, and that's what the UK DRI facilitates. We have obviously a lot of different expertise within the network. And that's a really great opportunity, especially as an early career scientist. Having that wealth of expertise in the UK DRI does well for the collaboration and the narrowing of the gap between industry and academia, which will only benefit patients going forward. So we need to be representative of the people that we're trying to help within our own research teams. We need to have a diverse team in order to battle something that affects the diverse community. This institution has got a track record already. We are fortunate in having the best biomarker lab in the world, the gold standard lab for biomarker work. The DRI invested in us through the Director's Award, uh, which enabled us to establish the uh, gene therapy platform, share this technology with uh, our DRI colleagues, and to set up a spin-out company. You can feel the energy in the UK DRI that we're all very passionate about uh, driving dementia research forward. That kind of hopelessness I felt when my dad was diagnosed didn't become just a feeling that I couldn't do anything about. And even though it's too late for my dad, we will bring a cure that will not be late for other, other families.